Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V, A Brave New World, as Gay Paris. Ah, uh, Paris. I like Paris. I've been there. It's, you know, funny thing about Paris is it's got this mega touristy reputation, and it does have mega touristy stuff, right? So it sort of deserves whatever people have to say about things that way. Um, and then, but the problem is that all the people who say, oh, Paris is like typical touristy stuff, the people who go there and do that, they're just typical tourists and they are um, not doing the right thing. There's all kinds of stuff that is completely unknown and not as popular and therefore it's just much more fun to go to because it's less crowded and inter it's more interesting. You know, like last time I went, I didn't go to the Eiffel Tower or anything. I mean, the Eiffel Tower is cool. If you've never been, go, because why not? But um, after that, you know, see different stuff. So, I will want to get aesthetics at some point. I will want to get exploration, probably. At the very least, I have to get one rank in there to get the Louvre. I mean, even if I'm not going culture, I'm playing as France. I gotta get the Louvre, right? Um, so, but I don't think we necessarily need Liberty, Honor, Piety. Piety is always cool, and we are going to play a little bit of the religious game. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish Tradition, because finishing it is really good. The plus 15% growth is nice. Plus, Monarchy is going to be really good, because we're going to have a huge capital. So, um... I think I can live without oligarchy for now, so we're just going to start heading down the rest of it. Boom. That is a little bit scary, so let's see if we can't uh, avoid those bad boys. Um, actually, let me go here. Look, at, it's a complete dead end. Very nice, which actually means if we get a city in here, we'll be able to defend it with just like a couple of units in these hills, basically, and they're going to be able to hold off just about anything. Oh, they actually came after me, which is really quite surprising. Um, I should actually be able to tank most of it if I just sit here and fortify until healed. I'll heal a little bit every turn, and they won't actually be able to kill me, uh, barring anyone spawning. And actually, I'm going to do that, because it's quite fun to farm these guys for XP that way. I don't think they can kill me. I have a trade route. But, nowhere to trade to. Not even an AI around. <gasps> okay, where the hell is Shaka? Well, he can't, he's not my neighbor, which is good. Because on... Oh, crap. We've got extra. So we definitely have to run. Um, bonus healing. Bonus defense. Get the hell out of there. Oh, there's a nice dead end. Although, if I stand here, at least only one of them can attack me per turn, which is good. Okay, there's the Zulu Spearman. Because he is super mega aggro. Super mega aggro. See? See what I'm saying? Right away. I w I'm declaring war. Um, I have, I, I'm not contributing. I suppose I could have said yes, sort of, kind of. But I would, he's my immediate neighbor. I'm, I would like to play a passive, peaceful game, actually. Um, assume Because I've got a lot of land here. I might be able to do just fine. Uh, worker is done. Good. We need, got mining in one turn. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess the granary is being finished because I forgot to change the production. It's not bad. We'll grow faster in Paris. I guess it's okay. Oh, it does only add the one food. All right. So I was getting that wrong. Let's go and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go here for the hammers. We'll move you up here as well. Granary finish. I think that's probably okay. Stonehenge, 20 turns, great engineer. And what tiles are you currently working? Um, lots of food, which makes it actually super lots of food. Shave four turns off Stonehenge. Actually, if we leave it here, we're going to get another citizen in two turns. It's actually going to be stronger, I think. We could always do production focus after two turns, but I think that overall we're going to be fine. You go into alert mode. You build me a mine for bonus production on this tile, which actually might not be as strong as just working all the wheats. Entirely possible. Classical era already. Oh, look at that. Son of a bitch. Um, okay, you've got decent vision over here. All right, warrior. Come over here. I just got to keep an eye out, because if this camp starts spawning stuff, we really do need another military unit. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just block him. It's going to be okay. Although, actually, if I let him move forward a little bit, I'd be able to bombard him from Paris. Holy crap balls! Move back over here. 
and there. Wow, wow. Can I, I, I can chop down trees, right? Yeah. Let's move you to here for now. The invasion of the barbarians. Oh, and I should check my production here. Go to production focus for now, because actually we do, come on. It not, doesn't respond to clicks between turns. Because that would be too hard. Um, do that one. You hide inside of Paris. Paris production focus. Shaves off two turns. Which is fine. You worker just wait. Oh my gosh. Like, every barbarian in the universe is coming after me. And tearing up all my crap. I mean, rebuilding doesn't take very long, but holy cow. There we go. Fully healed. Got getting more XP, killing things. I think. Alright, should be able to go here. Repair this. Next turn. I'm tempted to do the insta heal. Now, I will heal some if I just rest in place, but you know what? No, let's go for the heal and finish this stupid thing off. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's leave here. Yeah, we need some more military units just to sort of stand around and block stuff. This guy can't actually reach my worker this turn because of the hill. Well, also because of the adjacent movement rule. All right. Thank you. And then we'll go back to mining this. And Paris has got no one to shoot. All right. So we've also got writing, although we're a little bit delayed there. Um, you know what we're going to do is we're going to pick up archery. As soon as we finish the um, Stonehenge, we're going to build one archer and then build the Great Library. People are probably building the Temple of Artemis, which the AI really likes to do. So I'm going to still try to see if we can't get the uh, Great Library which might be a little bit foolish. Damn you. Alright, come back over here then. We're gonna get that hooked up. And you can go to Paris so you can heal, although probably you're gonna have to start attacking right away. Build me a farm. Okay, Barbarian hasn't entered. He could have entered my territory last turn. This is actually very good news. Adopt a policy. Um, more growth. Yeah, we got lots of happiness right now. So just grow a little faster, a little harder. Keep resting. Definitely need an archer, because we need to bust up the camps. And you really need an archer to bust them up in a reasonable amount of time. An archer alone can do it. An archer plus a warrior is actually great. Okay, we're two turns away from completing that. If I go back to default focus, are we still two turns? We are. Good. So do it that way. Next tech. What do we need? Actually, we'll probably start heading towards mathematics. If we fail to get the great library, that way we can at least start on the hanging gardens right away. Um, it would also be nice to potentially expose iron. Who knows, we might have some. Um, you know what we got? No, let's, let's do that. Let's do it that way and then queue up iron after that, which should be peachy. I still don't know where the Zulus actually are. Okay. I guess I'm gonna keep the warrior here. I suppose I could have put him on fortify or something. Stonehenge, good. Okay, we no longer have the deal where we're selling off our embassy, but that's fine. Uh, so religion, we're going to have, which is great. We're gonna, we have to get out an archer. 
An archer followed by great library. I suppose I should go back to production focus again. I guess I could have used the overflow before. It's not going to change the archer production time, but will technically give us a little bit of overflow. It's mostly working the same tiles. It's barely a difference. It's barely a difference. Okay, it doesn't really make much of a difference. We'll go ahead for the production because if we can somehow win by one more turn, it'll be better off. And, uh, you know what? I'm still going to leave the warrior right there for now. Scout's getting good mileage, though. I think I usually automate them, so they usually die a lot faster. What do you take damage from? Okay, that is done. You know what? Let's get another, well, our first luxury resource going. Oh, we can't. We don't have a camp yet. Okay, so move out there, and we will protect you with the warrior. So we can mine this spot, which will actually be good for production. Paris will continue to grow fast. Found a Pantheon. So, whew, there, there are a lot of good options. Tons of good options, obviously. But, including the Monument to the Gods, which frankly would shave off a considerable amount of turns on both the Great Library, which we're about to do, and the uh, Hanging Gardens. We want both. But, it runs out after a while. And I think for now, the Sun God. Plus one food for each banana, citrus, and wheat. That, I think that, that this is just going to make Paris ridiculous. To the point where, like, the Hain Gardens will almost be super, super, superfluous. Yeah, that's how, that's where the R goes. Um, and actually, maybe it's redundant. Maybe we don't need that much food. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm really starting to second guess this. Because we will have the Hain Gardens. We will have a lot of food. Paris will be huge, even without this. And this way, we'll shave off a couple of turns off both the library and the uh, the Hanging Gardens. Wow. Now, Sun got a bonus for life? You know what? I think I'm changing my mind. I, I was sure it was going to be a great idea. Plus three food in this city. What else do we have wheat-wise? We have one here, so whatever, if we expanded here, that would be plus one food, which is not that much. Um, there's more wheat over here, which technically means we could sort of put a city in here to maybe even work both these wheat. We don't really have much in the way of bananas. You know what? Wonders it is. Because I'm crazy. Alright. Uh, go this way. To engage that guy. Just like to get a bit more of a glimpse of their territory before their borders continue to grow. All right. Archer is enough to finish these things off. We're going to move to here. Citrus. Oh, wants citrus. Yeah, well. All right, great library. Go, go. You're still in production focus? Yes. Continue building the mine. That's going to be a lot of things to kill. We'll get a lot of experience points. On the other hand, our units will be tied up over this end. Still... I don't want to... I can't... I'm nowhere close to building a military unit this way. I, I really do want to build the Great Library right away. It gives us the free library and lots of bonus production and all kinds of good stuff. You are going to get the drill thing and just sit there and go into full tank mode. You're going to shoot over the hill and go there. This is almost certainly a dead end, so you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to turn back this way. Barbarian Settler, really? Well, it must have been an Assyrian settler that got kidnapped, which is actually really good. What do you mean, spotted near Paris? I hope you're just talking about this fellow. Not quite dead, but that's going to be good enough. Oh, barbarian hand axe. I'm happy they haven't uh, started throwing those at me. All right, let's see if we can get the horses online. I'm worried about barbarians coming from there, but... Should be okay. Shaka's entered the classical era. Most progressive people. Well, social policies are pretty samey. Wheel is done. Watermill is actually a pretty good building. But not one we need to rush to. Let's go and finish that guy off for good. Ah, oh, there are the Zulus. Quite far away from me, which makes me incredibly happy. Set up the pasture. Still 
something up over here. No one in range my archer, but I can put him... Actually, if I go here, I don't think I can actually shoot that because of the forest, which is rather annoying, but what can you do about it? Because I couldn't have shot it from the south here either, because the hills would have gotten in the way, if nothing else. Although I guess next turn I can move one and then go, Whoa! Hand axe! All right. Well, let's go for the guy who's almost dead anyway. Still need a trade route, but there's nowhere to trade to. Come on, let me finish the Great Library. Bonk. Bonk him on the head. With a blunt arrow, apparently. We don't use sharp arrows. We're like second edition clerics. We're not allowed to use anything sharp. War is bombarded. Oh, hand axes are ranged. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, you can get the rough terrain upgrade, because why not? We are going to dodge that guy by going here. So they're up to three cities here. We have one, and yet our score is basically equal. If we get the Great Library, we're going to be in fantastic shape. Frankly, I feel like I'm in pretty fantastic shape overall, but I always think that, and then things go horribly, horribly wrong. We'll probably get out a settler after the Great Library, because I'm not afraid of competition for the Hanging Gardens. God damn, that is a lot of damage that's coming in here. There we go. He's almost dead. Hmm. Well, if he wants to attack me, that's fine. If he's just going to sit there, I can actually probably kill him with the scout. Scouts are not great at combat, but they can fight. Yes! Okay, I haven't even, like, tuned my technology to get a really good one. But I will pick... Oh, no, there's actually some pretty expensive ones here. For example, uh, well, both of these are represent a lot of beakers. 202, 250 beakers which is a lot more, and the Parthenon is good, so is the Oracle. Either one I'm going to be very happy with, so I guess I'll take the one that costs the most actual beakers. Oh, no, they're both 202. Oh, I was looking at production here. 202 either way. Um, so to me, the Oracle is probably a higher priority than the Parthenon. Even though the Parthenon uh, fits our strategy better, the Oracle, I mean, a free social policy is always very good, and there's probably more competition for this bad boy. Um, so yeah, I think that that's the way to go. Classical era, which is great. Now, out of curiosity, speaking of social policies, good. So we do have the ability to grab aesthetics, right? Because it's all based on eras and stuff. Um, medieval era, good. So we've got aesthetics. So if we were to build the oracles, we would have a useful one to pick up. Excellent. Very happy making. We are going to go and there's, there's so many good things. In fact, this would be a great time to build the National College because we don't have to worry about any other cities having libraries. However, we absolutely positively need to get out... Um, ooh. You know what, I will actually build the Chariot Archer. It's got more range strength, more melee strength, but also more speed. We just need to defend against Barbarians better. We need to go and stamp out any camps. There's probably one hiding over here. There's probably like 15 over here. So we're going to build two Chariot Archers, followed by a Settler. And then we'll go back to building buildings. Boom. Scout takes out the opponent. Um, we still don't have Trapping, which is kind of funny. We actually, you know what, hold on. I can delay this. I don't I don't need the hanging garden yet because I know what I'm going to be building for a little bit first. Let's go ahead and get started on trapping so we can build that camp finally. Kill this jerk ass. And I would like to build there, but I'm I'm afraid that it's way too exposed. Can I build Can I build trading posts? I don't remember what I need for that. Like, honestly. Guilds. Oh, it's all the way in their guilds. Wow. Okay. I could build a, th a farm here, but that seems rather pointless. I could get started on roads, but that's spending money for not much point. I could just build a farm right here, even though it's going to be a chateau later. You know what, just go hide in Paris for a turn or two. We've got lots of improved tiles, we're going to be okay. Again. No, if you're going to go to war, you be my guest, but Shaka's actually going to be a problem at some point. I can just feel it. 
Enemy spotted. Oh, I'm happy I didn't send my uh, worker out there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Move here. Bombard there. I really want to just finish this, but I'm not going to be able to. You know what? I'm going to send the worker, the warrior back. He can heal in territory. He's going to be fine. Uh, archers are kind of a pain in the butt. Let's run away from that. Whoa! So many barbarians. The problem is we're so far away from everyone else. He's actually going to be a problem. He's going to tear up some of my crap. And of course they're going to spawn someone new. You know what? Go on this hill. And I'm actually thinking about disbanding this scout. He's done a pretty good job. We've probably uncovered what we need to. He's probably just going to get killed. Well, I guess that's that'd be that wouldn't be terrible. That wouldn't like screw us or anything. Tell you what, if you can make it over here, then you get to live. <laughs> How's that for a deal? Go into Paris. You wait there. We're definitely gonna. Actually, I guess he can't do the wheat in one turn. You can do that. Now, warrior, can you engage here without dying? Actually, you're probably going to be okay. I don't think I'll die to a counterattack. Live. All right, he pillaged, which is not a surprise. Uh, which heals him. Right, I forgot about that. Victory. Whew! All right. Chariot Archer number one is done. Um, oh, right, we have no horses anymore. Son of a... Go ahead and just build me an archer then. That's fine. Bombard that. Yeah, more defense. Keep tanking. Go and set up our horses again. Did the Chariot Archer get cancelled? Are you kidding me? And we lose the production? Doesn't even get turned into gold? Repair. Just go into alert mode. Holy crap, the Barbarians are going to cost me everything. Everything, I'm being so delayed. I mean, my score is still in pretty good shape. Paris is certainly a very impressive place. Regular Archer done. Fine, build me another regular archer. We, I, I need it. We need to do some fog busting. I think we're going to build a settler to go over here. So I'm actually going to go and kind of reserve this spot by eyeballing it with an archer. And then we're going to keep the warrior sort of here. And then maybe another defensive unit sort of in this direction. Like so. All right, that's been repaired. Good. We can build this camp here, which is good. Give us a little bit of extra happiness. Choose research. Um, you know what? Let's get bronze working. Because if there's iron anywhere on the map, um, there's lots of hills here. There's some here. Yeah, it might change where we decide to settle. And I do want another city because I don't want my capital building military units. Sure, embassies sound great. Let's be friends. Yeah, that'll last. More promotions. Um, yeah, go double rough. Clear that out. Thank you very much. And where do I want to park you? I could have you sit here and keep an eye on this little edge of the peninsula. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm mostly just using these guys to spot and block barbarians. Okay, another archer. Let's get out the one settler, and then we're going to go back to wonder building. Uh, because I'm starting to get a little concerned about the um, the hanging gardens, but not that concerned. Let's go for the extra happiness in our capital, because our capital is going to be gargantuan, and this is going to make a big difference. Already, that turned into four happy faces, which is pretty good. All right, I suppose it's more reasonable that there's going to be more barbarians coming from the north, actually. So I'm going to send the archer to guard somewhere there-ish. Oh, expansion over there. Aaron! Oh, not even on a hill. Oh, okay. 
So I think, even though it doesn't give us the marble right away, frankly, we can live without it, I think this would be the best spot for our city. It would technically end up with cows as well. Double fish. I mean, nothing great right within the initial um, radius, although I can quick buy a tile. I could quick buy the iron. And then we got a two food tile with lots of production. I don't remember if building a mine on here will actually lose one of the food, uh, but it, it still comes out to a pretty good spot. I guess I'm gonna sit you on the hill. Well, there's no barbarian camp. I'm sure there would be. Hmm, you go into alert mode. Choose research, let's actually queue a few things. Would be nice to be able to crawl across the coast, but we can live without that. Um, so, next wonder we care about. Chichen Itza is actually very handy because we probably will end up with a few golden ages. Um, you know what? We probably will have a holy city. We don't need the Great Lighthouse. This would not be bad in New City, but frankly, it's a little too slow, probably. I don't think I want to risk that. Uh, all the artist guilds, the religious y stuff. Oxford University is pretty good, actually. It's quite far, though. Yes, more super farms with civil service. Let's go to civil service and then maybe pick up theology. Classical era, okay. It's a second place score wise. Big populations really do help. Lots of extra happiness, we can keep growing. Paris, oh, Paris is not growing because we're making a settler. Of course, that's fine. I don't remember where I was sending you. Somewhere over here. See if you can squeeze in there. You stay in alert mode. Just wake up if something happens. Actually, we can probably move this warrior. Actually, I don't know where I want to move him. Do I have... No, I don't have oligarchy, so I don't get the uh, the discount, the no maintenance from having him in the city, although at some point I will want to do that. You are done, which is great. Go ahead and set up this wheat now. I'm very happy with that. Actually, I should almost, not quite, send him over here. The settler's not done yet, but improving the new city tiles will actually be a pretty high priority. 12 happiness. We do have the one trade route, which I think, I don't think we can reach here. I'm hoping we can reach here and just ship them some food or something and have them grow quickly. They have one happiness resource and that's all. It'd be nice if we could get two from the new city. There's silver over here, although that's tucked in in a really awkward place, so I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're actually going to be living on two cities for a very long time. We'll probably expand through these guys. There probably will be a war at some point just to allow us to expand a tiny bit, but even then, I don't know. And the way for us to get sugar, well... We could stick a city in here, probably. Actually, let's just, just go across the coast. That's going to be so much stronger. All right, you are going to go right there, and you should be fine. I'm going to move you here just to keep an eye out. Yes, we're going to be okay. Choose production. I feel like we can actually live without a shrine. We're producing a fair amount of uh, faith. Um, I do need to get the Hanging Gardens. Oh, man. Should I build the, hang the National College first and just not settle? No, you know what? We're going to go Hanging Gardens. I'm going to go Hanging Gardens because it's been a little while and it's probably not at risk, but Hanging Gardens and then Watermill and then probably do the Oracle. Ba -ba -bum. We'll just have to remember to build a, uh, a library relatively quickly in our new city. Keeping our empire small, we will be able to get a lot of uh, social policies very quickly as well. What was that sound from? I don't even know. Shiny things the most, so someone is more rich, but I do have a fair amount of money kicking around. Uh, probably we'll be using it to buy tiles over here to accelerate things. What? Where? Was there seriously a ruin over here that never got explored that I just accidentally ran into? 
That seems hard to believe, but it may have happened. Oh, I actually meant to move you a little bit closer over there. Yeah, we're going to settle right here. I think I'm okay with it. We get the river, the ocean, and the mountain. And there's, so there's going to be a lot of possibilities for buildings here. And this should be another big city. Uh, because with few cities, we're going to have a high population cap or happiness cap. This one does eat into quite a few things. Um, this would only give me plus two food. Because we don't have deer, wheat, or bananas. Um... This allows us to ship food out of here, which we don't need. The watermill would also give me plus two food and also plus one production. It takes a little bit longer to do. More shrines are good. The library, getting that back online would actually be quite nice. I think I will build the watermill, though. I think it's a pretty good investment for the future. Okay, well, let's clear the rest of this little area out here. And then at that point, the scout... I think I'm just going to disband the scout. I don't know if we're, like, above our, our significant maintenance limit. I'm not sure we're going to save a lot of money doing that. But it seems like a fine idea. I'm going to go ahead and actually put this guy in Orleans because we'll get oligarchy soon enough. So that's hooked up, which is great. Let's go and buy a tile is what I meant to do. Good. And it's all going to auto-expand to the wheat after that, which is great. Let's go and get you hooked up. We may end up buying the wheat just because we might finish uh, our work with the uh, the warrior or the worker here quickly enough. It is quite far away. We will want to hook this up with a road. It's a shame that it's so far because the maintenance on the road is going to be pretty high. And you know what? It's time for us to put a cut in this video. See you guys next time.